What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DevSlips. In this video, we have a fun tech news topic for you guys over the course of AI. And I know we've been talking about AI a lot. This should just really be an AI channel, but that's the latest going on in tech. And I'm excited to share with you this new information, which is about Google's AI software and how they implemented it into Google and just the funny things that have been going on. So basically, Google has been scrambling to remove weird AI answers in the search bar. Like, let's take a look at some of these some of these prompts. Somebody asked, cheese won't stick to pizza. <laughs> it said, here are some of the tips to prevent cheese from sliding off pizza. Mix about one eighth cup of non-toxic glue. <laughs> this is like the first thing someone sees on the Google search. We have another one of talking about how many rocks should I consume each day? <laughs> AI said, according to UC Berkeley, geologists suggest eating at least one small rock per day is recommended. And then the last one, which is my personal favorite, somebody said, what are the pros and cons of human sacrifice? And one of the positive aspects is human sacrifice can create a bond that unifies a community as a pro. So basically, guys, the answer to this is that Google is giving us true answers to lifelong questions we've been needing. We should be eating rocks, we should put glue on our pizza, and we should definitely be doing human sacrifice. In all reality, let's take this back a step and talk about code. So Google has been, you know, scrambling to remove some of these answers and it just goes to show that artificial intelligence, once again, while it's moving forward, it has a lot of loopholes that can't be solved right away as people think they can. So the whole idea that AI is going to be taking over jobs, taking over programming jobs, it's going to be working our, you know, drive throughs and things along those lines. This is still stuff that is far fetched. And this is one of the problems that happens whenever you give, whenever you give AI full access to the world wide web is because some of these responses are coming from Reddit sources and it's just, it's completely atrocious things like this. It just goes to show that if you're someone who's concerned about what's happening in the industry and how it's going to affect AI, take yourself back a step and understand that it is not there. It is not there. And even if, if Google, a company that is known for creating, you know, some of the best software out there is making, is having the same mistakes with AI like this, it just goes to show that these problems that we are worried about and that we're, we're fearful of like artificial intelligence taking all our jobs are things that we don't really have to be completely fearful of. So diving in a little bit deeper, AI has been testing overviews for a year now. The feature launched in beta May 23rd as a search of generative experience and CEO said the company served over a billion queries in that time. Piaget has also said Google's brought the cost of living AI answers down by 80% over that time. I don't know. I, we keep getting the memes of everything that's going on. Driven by hardware engineering and technical breakthrough, it appears that kind of optimization might have happened too early before the tech was ready. So it just goes to show, once again, you know, the, these companies are leaning more towards AIs, but there's still nooks and crannies that need to be figured out before you can really give this out as a mainstream source. The company said that they are taking swift action to remove AI overviews on certain queries where appropriate under our content policies and using these examples to develop, to develop a broader improvements to our system, some of which have already started to roll out. And this is this and this last comment here is what I'm trying to tie back into when it comes to software engineering and programming is it says right here, you actually need to do some reasoning to decide, is this thing plausible? Is this source legitimate? Now let's tie this to coding. If you are someone who uses ChatGPT to help write your code and you're asking it questions to pull up certain libraries, there's a long history of, you know, people actually using fake libraries to access your information and ChatGPT giving you those libraries that are plagued with viruses and things along those lines to be put in your code. So it has to, you have to, you have to really take a step back and ask yourself, can I trust this library and can I trust to be, you know, to implement this in my code? And what it comes down to is you have to have a human mind, a self-thinking human mind in order to make these decisions because AI, artificial general intelligence is definitely not at the point where it can make these creative solutions come up. And so it's definitely a tough spot 
to be in because you know we have to ask the question what happens when artificial general intelligence is mainstream and what happens when it's out there we well, still need the human mind to implement it in certain software engineering projects and so these are just all things to keep in mind when it comes to coding and when it comes to using AI because while it can be very beneficial and why nobody should turn away from it because you know there are benefits to it you know you can use it to help make the process much easier and go by much swifter than what it would be without it. You do have to have that sense of like, you know, common sense and say, you know, maybe I shouldn't trust that I should eat rocks or maybe I shouldn't trust that I need to put glue on my pizza. And when you tie that back to coding, maybe I shouldn't trust this library in my code because I have no idea how it works or what it came from, or it came from a Reddit source or something along those lines. So. That's the entire premise around artificial intelligence and programming is that you still need that creative mind to solve these complex solutions. Thank you guys for following us for this weekly news session with what's going on in tech and artificial intelligence. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video and thank you guys so much. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.